Hi guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Tonight I want to show you a technique that I believe to be the most important thing you can learn as a new scroller, or even for that matter as a seasoned scroller who may not have just recognized this technique. It's a technique that most people will eventually pick up uh, just naturally as they cut, you know, over a period of a few weeks. Uh, but the sooner you learn this technique and the sooner you master it, the more accurate your scrolling will be. What I'm talking about is the ability to stop the blade from cutting as you make a turn. Now that sounds simple, but it's actually a little more complicated uh, than it might at first appear. When you are, well let me, show you, let me show you an example of not allowing the blade to stop cutting while you make a turn. I'm going to come to this corner and I'm going to turn the blade and go down this side of the square and I'm going to do it with uh, what I see a lot of new scrollers doing and that's uh, continuing to let the blade cut. So as I come up to this corner, I'm there at the corner, as I start making this turn, if the teeth are still cutting, you can see that I rounded over that turn. Now I exaggerated that to make a point, uh, but I think you can see it. Let me zoom in here real close just to make sure you can see what I'm talking about. If you look here at this corner, you can see that as I made that turn, I came out into the waist area before I started back down this left edge of the curve of the square. That's what I'm talking about. We continued to let the teeth cut as we made that turn. So how do we prevent that from happening? How do we stop the teeth from cutting while the blade's still running up and down uh, and we're making our turn. Well, it's actually pretty simple. When a blade is actually cutting, of course, the teeth are here on the front of the blade. So if you're pushing the wood into the blade from here back, if you're pushing the wood towards the back of the saw, the teeth are cutting. When we want the teeth to stop cutting, what we have to do is eliminate that pressure from the wood onto the front of the blade. To do that, what we'll do is we'll actually stop pushing back and start pushing one direction or the other depending on our cut. So in this case, since we're going to come down and make this cut this direction, I'm going to slowly and gently stop pushing back and start pushing sideways on this board as I make the turn. So since the pressure is on the side or the back edge or the back corner of this blade, the teeth won't continue to cut. And it looks like this. Pushing forward, once I get to this turn, I'm pushing the board this direction, making my turn, and I get a nice sharp turn that way. And again, we'll come back down here and I'll try to do it a little faster. As we get to this corner, I'm going to push the wood that direction, and eventually it's on the back edge of this blade is where the pressure is, and then I can make my turn. One more time. I get to this piece, I can turn, come down this edge. So the whole technique is to learn to quit pushing the wood into the teeth of the blade and start pushing the blade onto the sides of the blade or possibly the back corner of the blade or sometimes even all the way towards the back of the blade. That's how we stop the teeth from cutting while the blade's still running. If you practice this technique, you're going to exaggerate the technique as you're doing it like I was doing when I was trying to demonstrate it uh, but eventually it will become second nature and as you make these turns you will lightly begin pushing this pressure this direction as opposed to back on the blade it just comes natural after a while because if you don't you'll continue to round over those corners I'm Steve Good I hope this little tip was helpful and we'll catch you next time here at the scroll saw workshop